So is Abercrombie and Fitch first instinct a good fragrance? I have no idea. So let's go ahead and find out and do an unboxing and first impression of this one. Hey, what's going on guys? Hunter here and welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, glad to have you here. And if you are new, what I do is I make fragrance related content. So if you like fragrances, please just hit the subscribe button down below. Be sure to hit that notification bell. Also be sure to follow my fragrance Instagram page. But that is correct. We're going to be doing an unboxing of Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct, guys. So I'm so excited to actually get my nose on this one uh, because this one is actually discontinued and actually the whole line is. I've been seeing like all the flankers and stuff pop up in like um, discount stores like TG Maxx and stuff like that, but I've never actually seen the original. So very exciting. Um, now, I do want to shout out one of my subscribers, Robert, who actually sent this out as a gift because... He actually loves this fragrance so much and since it's discontinued, he purchased five bottles as backup at a fantastic price and he was kind enough to send one out for me as a gift. So thank you very much, Robert. I really appreciate that and cannot wait to actually smell this one. So let's go ahead and look at the packaging really quick. It is kind of basic like um, most of your designer fragrances. It is obviously wrapped in cellophane. You do have the Abercrombie and Fish house right there. It is the 100 uh, ml bottle. I believe they come in 50 ml as well. And this is a eau de toilette concentration. Um, nothing up top, nothing on the sides, or actually there is something on the sides right there. Just more of the branding and the fragrance right there as well. And then on the bottom, of course, you're gonna get your barcode and batch code to authenticate your product and see when your product was produced. I'm actually in a phone call, so hold on. All right, sorry about that. I actually had a call come in because we're actually in a tornado warning right now. So if you happen to hear sirens in the background, that is why. And I'm actually on the fourth floor. So I'm like on the top of my building, which is obviously pretty dangerous, but it should be okay, I hope. It is looking a little bit dark outside, but let's continue on with the unboxing of uh, First Instinct. So let's go ahead and open up the cellophane now. All right, let's see. Now I'm going in this like pretty much completely blind. I don't know anything about this fragrance or any of the flankers or nothing at all. All I know is like, um, I think Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce is like the first fragrance and the one that was very, very hyped. I don't know if that fragrance got discontinued, but I do know the older bottles are going for a pretty penny. So I don't know if it just got refilm related or it got completely discontinued, but let's look at the box here. It is pretty nicely textured, which is always good. It's not just a regular plaster or regular cardboard box. It is kind of nice feeling. All right, let's open the top here. Okay. And there is our bottle of first instinct. This is the first time I'm actually seeing this bottle in person. It's kind of unique. It actually has like, um, I believe like a wave to it. It is kind of like 3D. That is pretty cool. And it also has this nice plaque on the side that says First Instinct by Abercrombie and Fitch. And then of course, some information and your batch code down there below. All right, and then we have this cap, let's see. The cap is actually has a little bit of weight to it. It's not like completely lightweight plastic, which is nice. And it does click into place too, which is very important for me. I love that. All right, let's turn that baby around. Nothing inside the cap. And the cap does have like a nice texture around it as well. So you can like grip it a little bit better, I'd imagine. So let's go ahead and spray this. I'm actually gonna spray this one on skin because I'm actually very excited about it. So let's go ahead and see. Okay. That's a different atomizer. It's kind of like, um, tastes like a hard press to actually press it down to get something out, but it did do the job, of course. All right, and I do pick it up in the air. So let's go ahead and smell this. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. So right off the top, what I'm getting is um something very fizzy. Hmm. I believe melon as well. But there's something very fizzy about this. This is actually enjoyable. Wow. Definitely coming across a summer spring fragrance, 100%, which is unfortunate because where I'm from right now, we're just heading into the fall and it's starting to cool down. So I probably won't be able to wear this that much. Maybe pull out a couple of days of it. But yeah, this is, oh wow. I can definitely see this be a banger for the summertime. Yeah, really fizzy. I think I'm picking up on a melon note. Maybe like ginger, there's something in here. Mmm. It's already kind of changing on my skin too. I believe I'm picking up on violet leaves too, because violet leaf is a very like um 
noticeable note that it can kind of like sway people away. Some people love the note, some people don't. Yeah, I think it's Violet Leaf I'm picking up on. It's that unique smell. That's nice, that's a really nice. Wow, that smell is actually very high quality, which I'm very shocked. This is actually the first Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce, or <laughs> it's so hard to say, Abercrombie and Fitch fragrance I've actually ever smelled in my life. Well, obviously I've probably smelled um, Fierce before, like when you go to the Abercrombie store back in the day, but I never actually like smelled it, never owned it, nothing like that. But I'm kind of shocked. I'm kind of disappointed too that this fragrance is discontinued. And the prices are probably gonna skyrocket. So if you wanna get this fragrance, buy it now before they do. You probably get it at a decent price. I'm not sure. They probably do have them on discounters as well, that I'd imagine. But you can always check their uh, local rack stores, eBay, things like that. But yeah, I'm glad to have this fragrance in my collection now. This is actually nice. Very nice. Kind of masculine as well. It has like a nice masculine vibe to it. Very tropical, guys. Very tropical. Wow. All right. So as far as age groups go for first instinct, um, honestly, it is kind of youthful. It's not really mature smelling. It's a little bit playful as well. Um, this is going to be perfect, like I said, for spring and summer on those hot, high, um, hot days. If you're going to go on like vacation, this is a perfect fragrance to take with you on vacation to make memories with, like if you're going to a beach or something like that or somewhere tropical, this is a good one. But yeah, age groups goes, I think this is leaning more youthful. So anywhere from like, yeah, teenagers could pull this one off 100%, but it's kind of like versatile. I think um, if you're grown, you could definitely pull this one off as well. It is just playful. If you like, um, if you have playful kind of personality to you, you'll be able to rock this 100%. It's very nice, pretty unique, I must say. Yeah, just because the fizziness to it, the melon. Whew. Some kind of citrus notes. Yeah, that's nice. Um, as far as like versatility goes, hmm. yeah, this one definitely is more casual. If you're wearing like shorts or like uh, swimming trunks or stuff like that, if you're maybe going to work as well, you might be able to pull this one off. It's very inoffensive. Yeah, don't, I can see many people liking this one, getting many compliments on it as well. I cannot wait to try this one out in public and see the reactions to it because this stuff is a good, solid release by Abercrombie & Fitch. Wow. Yeah, I cannot wait to rock this one. But that's pretty much going to wrap up my unboxing and first impression of Abercrombie & Fitch First Instinct. Maybe I'll do a full review of this in the future once I start wearing it more, see the dry down, the performance, things of that nature. But that's just the first impression. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. Leave a comment down below if you've tried this one or any of its flankers and which one you like the best. Very curious to know. And also thank you again, Robert, for the fragrance. Very appreciated. And yeah, subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll catch all you guys in the next upload. Take care, everybody.